I mean, it's at first sight, it looks like it's you know brand new, shiny, and it looks nice, no? But um, there's also questions. I've seen this online as well. There's some questions like maintenance and in terms of kind of building works in the future. Like if something breaks, will we be able to source it locally, or do we have to bring them like from China as well? Um, not only that, but um, I know these are going to be elderly care homes. There are certain standards sometimes with how big the floor space has to be in terms of mobility and get and helping patients in out of bed. Um, and I don't, I don't think there's a standard in Gibraltar yet to tell us like how big the floor space has to be with elderly care. And By I'm that you sure mean there's is. nothing in our laws to exactly, exactly. So I think anyway, like we need to use this as a basis because if there's going to be any kind of private development as well for the elderly. There needs to be some kind of standards in terms of floor space. I mean, it looks nice and it's done in a wide angle camera, so it looks quite spacious. They look really good, yeah. It looks like they've taken into consideration what would be needed. See, they look really cool. Yeah. Yeah. They're 20 to 25 uh, square meters and um, they've got air conditioning. Yeah. Um, as you saw, the, the bathroom apparently been adapted, no? For, for accessibility. Yeah. That's so you can see it clearly. There was a few controversial opinions, not on Facebook when it first came out, but inside, yeah, they do. They do look good, yeah. Yeah, yourself? Mm -hmm. Very nice, very homey. I think it'd be good. It reminds me a little bit of like university halls. Um, it does look very cold from the outside, but to be honest, what I've seen today seems a little bit um, that it can be made quite homely. So, your approval then? <laughs> If it were me living in there, I'm not sure, but it just depends. Um, I'm sure that the other catering services that they'll be able to provide for, um, like the communal areas, would probably be a little bit more um, homely um, and of benefit for them. I was pleasantly surprised when I saw a video of how the whole thing is structured. And I have to congratulate Joe Rosano for having the foresight of bringing such a beautiful structured building to Gibraltar and saving us uh, Gibraltarians a lot of money, a lot of time wasted in having buildings built. I think it's a success story from the start.